Everyone, I'm Alfred. Welcome back to Oblivion. The Elder Scrolls for Oblivion. Um, so last time we just read a whole bunch of the Mythic Dawn books. Um, and like, that's fine. I'm I'm calling these like episodes 8.2 and 8.7. Sorry. Getting a little Kingdom Hearts here. Um, just for the sake of like, hey, we need to like... Apparently we need to read these and... I don't know that we need to read these, like read these, read these, but... I'm I'm just doing what the game told, tells me as far as I can tell and interpret it from the game itself. You know? Um, which is why I ultimately decided to do this. But it's given us a lot of, to think about. But it looks like this is an alternative way of like... Because in multiple cases, people... The, the villains of Elder Scrolls, the big villains, of what I can tell, appear to have the same sort of goal to exert their will over the universe like the whole universe um oh hardfire one why is it hardfire one the book said hardfire one didn't it um, it, like, all of them have the, the basic idea of we should exert our will over the universe. So, like, Tiber Septum and Mana Marco in the first game want to use, uh, the original Numidium in order to exert their will over the universe and maybe become gods or something. Um... Dagoth Ur is using the heart of Lorcan in order to exert his will over the universe and become the the dreamer. Um this game appears to be a a new way of looking at that. I, I I'll still need to figure it out, but it's appears to be a way of Maybe they're just trying to make this plan of oblivion. I forget what the name of the it's Cold Harbor. No, Cold Harbor is more like Ball's Plane of Oblivion. I don't remember what this, what Merun's part of Oblivion is called. But anyway, he might be trying to exert his Plane of Oblivion on, like, base reality so hard that it becomes, it becomes, like, his reality. I know that, um, I know that Molag Ball tries to do that in Elder Scrolls Online. And it would be kind of funny if Merun Stegon can't think of his own thing. And so he's just stealing from Molag Ball. Um, yeah. It says Heartfire first. It is Heartfire first. That's... Is that a... Okay, pro it's probably just something where either this is a crazy coincidence or this is a thing where, like, the game is like, hey, we, w the player needs to get this at any point. So whenever, whenever the player reads this book, this date will be randomly set to whatever date they read it on. Maybe it's the nearest first of the month, or maybe it's just that date, or maybe it's the next day. Um, but that's interesting. Yeah, that's really cool. I don't know how to how to think or feel about that. Do 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 do. Okay. Looking in the wrong place. Book three. The tower touches all the mantles of heaven. Presumably that's the tower as in the, like, sign. Brother novitiates all the mantles of heaven, brother novitiates, and by its apex, one more can be as he wills. So by having the tower, you... I wonder if that's also a um, something that's randomly selected, just because it is a birth sign. But maybe they mean something different by the tower. Or maybe it's the tower, like... I mean, I don't know if I can see it from here. I don't think it's that one. I think that's a different tower. 
but maybe they mean the like the towers uh, as in the plane like the things that connect the planes of, of reality that might make more sense I also might have gotten confused on all the birth signs just because I don't necessarily know them all and I might have forgotten that the tower isn't one of them but tower connects everything yada yada um more be as he was and yet change for all else on that path af for those who walk after this is the third key of Numantia and the secret of how mortals become makers and makers back to mortals the bones of the wheel need their flesh and that is mankind's heirloom Air okay flesh is the heirloom of mankind but you need it though the bones okay some people call the old El Nofe the earth bones just as a way to indicate that they are a crucial vital part of the planet um, because of how much, like, they affected reality, I think. Hmm. But apparently you need flesh, and it's an heirloom of mankind. And then also... You should act like, presumably like the Tower, or like Merun's Dagon. As he did, but with the stuff that he knows now. Maybe? Maybe? Oathbreakers beware, for their traitors run through the Nimic paths, runner dogs of Prolix gods. The dragon's blood have hidden ascensions in 6,000 years of ethereal labyrinth, which is Arena. Arena, okay, so... Initially, the first game is called the Elder Scrolls Arena because it's like a gladiator game and you can fight in a bunch of things. And, you know, you can fight in other arenas in every other game, except for Skyrim because they actually took it out. Um, but later they said, no, the first game is actually called Arena because the the world where the universe exists is called the Arena because of all the fighting. And like, I don't know. I feel that's a little silly. Um, so the Dragon's Blood. Presumably that just means the Emperor directly. Uh, and they deny it. It's Oathbound. So... Maybe they're saying that the Emperor made a promise and then broke it, and then said that there wasn't a promise, deny it's oath-bound, and that's why it says oath-breakers beware. And the traitors run through Nimic paths. Runner dogs of prolix gods. So people who worship the the regular gods, the Aedra, are, are just dogs. By the book, take... Uh, take this key and pierce the divine shell that encloses the mantle-takers. The skin of gold, scarab a orbex... Woe to the oath breakers of the skin of gold. Gold skin means like Altmer, right? Like Chimer and Altmer. And Chimer don't exist anymore. I don't know how recently this book was written. Um, but they might be saying like, hey, fuck the elves. Uh, be fooled not by the forlorn that ride along astray, that ride astray the, for, the roadway. For they lost faith and this losing was caused by the Aedra who would know no other planets whereby the Lord, the words of Nor Lord Dagon instruct us to destroy these faithless. Okay, yeah. Kill the infidels. Pretty standard. Eat or bleed dry the gone forlorn and gain that small will that led them to walk the path of Godhead at the first. Spit out or burn to the side that which made them delay. Know them as the pneumo pneumoli. Pneumoli. Every new limb is paid for by the underknown. See, brother, and give not more to the Hydra. Okay, this is descending into madness. This is getting less cohesive and coherent as this goes on. Of the skin of gold, the Zarzi's Mysterium says, Be fooled not by the forlorn. Don't listen to the people who say their own stuff. They lost faith because of the gods. Lord Dagon is like, No, you got to destroy those faithless. Uh, this is a minor thing, but stars don't exist in the Elder Scrolls. Stars are little holes poked in the in the veils of reality. Like the the universe of the Elder Scrolls only goes out as far as uh, as far as all the planets that you can see. Um, and anything past those is just like a like a like space like a veil. That in my mind is very close to the planet. Though some people might say that. No, it is as infinite as the universe is, and that's still very far away, and there is no true edge. Um, but suffice it to say, there are little rips in the fabric of reality, 
and the light shining through those rips are what we think of as stars. I think you might even be able to see it from here. Yeah, so like these things aren't stars as we know them as like big balls of gas on as they are in our dimension. These are rips in the fabric of space-time. Essentially like on a sheet that to me, in my interpretation of the cosmology, is actually very close to close to us, close to where we are. Um, though I, I think you could also interpret it as the rips are a varying size and distance to us because they're all over the place. They could be anywhere. Um, or the universe is infinite and at infinity is where those rips are. Or the universe is infinite and the rips are, you know, dispersed everywhere because you don't actually physically have to put it in the edge of reality. But maybe that's its own thing. Every new limb is paid for by the Underknown. Sorry, I'm fiddling with something. I dropped it. Um, every new limb is paid for by the Underknown. See, brother, and give not more to the Hydra. I don't know what the Hydra is. I know that dragons exist, but only sometimes. You will sense a shadow choir soon. The room you're in right now will grow eyes and voices. Okay, so we're going to start seeing shit because we read this book. The candle or spell light you read this by will become gateways for the traitors I have mentioned. Scorn them and fear not. Call them names. Call it their base natures. I, the man car of stars, am with you. And come to take you to paradise where my, the tower trader shall hang on glass racks till they smile with a new revolution. Okay. So, Nimoli is probably... Yeah, know them as the Nimoli. So, that's just a slur for non-believer. They run blue through noise and shine only when the earth trembles with the eruption of the newly mantled. Tell them, go. Gartak Almnem. God is come. Numi Mora. Numdale Mnem. Oh, should I have read that out loud? Is that going to, like, curse me or something? Whatever. I'm the Nerevarine. It doesn't matter. Not my character, me, Alfred, in the real world. I'm the Reverine. Sorry, guys. Once you walk... I know I know, Vivek told you that you are, but he actually meant me. Um, once you walk in the mythic, it surrenders its power to you. Myth is nothing more than first once. Unutterable truth. Ponder this while searching for the fourth key. Okay, so once you walk in the mythic, once you start doing magic stuff of our flavor, it'll get easier. Myth is nothing more than first once. Unutterable truth. So... All the stuff that we deal with is nothing that you don't want already, maybe. Um, so think about this while you're looking for the fourth key. Because this book is about the third key. Understood laws of the Archonature will fall away like heat. First tower dictate. Render the mutant bound where he may new do no more harm. As god of the Mundus, alike shall be his progeny split from the divine sparks. Mundus is another term for Earth or just like this realm. Um, we are eight times eight exarchs. Let the home of Padome see us as the sole exit. Chim. Ah, oh, yeah. Those who know it can reshape the land. Witness the home of the Red King once jungled. Yeah, yeah. This is Oblivion. This is Oblivion. The Red King is, is Tiber Septim or Talos. I didn't know that he wore red, uh, but I've only seen the statues where he's, you know, gray because it's carved out of stone. But this land was once jungled because... I, I mentioned this before, but this used to be a jungle until he turned it into a more temperate, nice place for everyone to live. So I guess this has to be here because this is the place of such great acts of Chim and such power that like this has to be where we're doing this. Or alternatively, because this is where this happened, um, this is this is where like this is where the um. the birthplace of the empire is so it needs to be here okay um where were we he that enters paradise enters his own mother i beg your pardon sir i alma ruma the arbus endeth in all ways endeth we seek through our dawn we all endeth falter now and become one with wayside orphans that feed me I eat babies. If you screw up, you'll join them. Follow me and I shall adore you from the inside. My first daughter ran from the Dagonite home, the Dagonite road. Her name was Ruma. Oh, I, Alma Ruma. Uh, and I ate her with no bread and I made another which learned and I loved that one. 
and blackbirds formed her twin behind all the time. What the fuck? Starlight's your mantle, brother. Where to see by and edits like to paradise. May the holder of the fourth key know the heart thereby. The Munex Tarin was once ruled over by tyrant drug kings. Oh yeah, I heard that Morrowind and maybe the entire empire used to be like all this land used to be ruled by them. And then and then again, like Vivek like had a triumph or a victory over them. It's its own thing. Each to their own dominion and border wars fought between their slave oceans. They were akin to the time totems of old, yet evil and full of mockery and profane powers. No one lived no one that lived did so outside of the sufferance of the drugs. So they ruled everything. I give my soul to the magma gay, saith the joyous in paradise, for they created Merun's the razor in secret in the bowels of league, the domain of the upstart who vanishes. The upstart, uh, though they came from diverse waters, each get is get the plural of ge, as in magna ge, uh, shared sole purpose to artifice a prince of good, spinning in his likeness in random swath and imbuing him in oblivion's most precious and scarce asset, hope. Deathlessly, I intone from paradise. Oh, so he's like dead? And we're reading his... I guess that would make him a martyr. Um, Merun's the thief taker. Merun's god body. Merun's the red arms that went up. New Mantia liberty. Deny not these days shall come again, my novitiates. For as Merun's threw down Lig and cracked his face, declaring each of the 19 and 9 and 9 oceans free, so he shall crack the serpent crown of the Cyrodiils and make federation. So he's going to bust up this area, Cyrodiil. All will change in these days as it was changed in those, for with by the magic word Numantia, and pulled uh, uh, a great rebellion rose up and pulled down the towers of Chim El -Gyar Gargig. I know that Jigalag is like the order god, but I don't know Gargig. And the Templars of the Upstart were slaughtered, and blood fell like dew from the upper wards down to the lowest pits, where the slaves with maniacal faces took chains and teeth to the jailers, and all hope was brush fire. So yeah, this is it, it appears to be like a thing of like we need to find the the impoverished and, and disenfranchised peoples and then give them like fascist ideologies so that we can rise up and, and stick it to the man. Uh, your dawn listens, my lord. Let all the Orbis know itself to be free. Merun's is come. There is no dominion save free will. Suns were riven as your red legions move from Lig. Oh, yeah, I guess they call it the Red Legion. So that makes sense that Tiber Septum would be clothed in red. I digress. Uh, move from your red legions. Red legions move from Lig to the hinterlands of Chill. A legion for each get. And Curry was thrown down. And Jaff was thrown down. And Hormaji was... Jilly was crushed with cold salt and forevermore cold horror, and so it shall be called again in the time of gates. Under the miles, Malbioge, there's that word again, was thrown down in that old city of chains, slaked in newborn warmth and set free. Gog and more Gog were thrown down together in a single night, and it shall be under the time of gates. Nothing but woe for Nern, has, which has become the pit, and seven curses on its dra. The verme ni mock. But for it, the Crusades would be as my Lord's creation. Get the gate and do as thou wilt. Of no fetters, but know your own consciousness. Know that hell is broken, people of the Arbus, and pr know that your hell is broken, people of the Arbus, and praise the new Mantia, which is liberty. There's a guy back there. Crazy. Um, I don't know what that means. <clears throat> they really started to lose me there. What? The supposed leader of the myth. Okay. The commentaries are contemporary with Tiber's Septum. Okay, yeah, so he should be dead. Years ago. So he is Although you never know. Yeah, that is right. Alive. The holy... If it exists... The... If it... To find theirs, it is a fairly common practice in effect. Simply by finding their way to the shrine, prospective ma You've piqued my... Check back with me t Tomorrow, huh? Be seeing you. Okay. Time to go to the Elder Scrolls wiki. The good wiki. Not the... Yeah, the unofficial Elder Scrolls pages. Blah, 
Oblivion, Mysterium, Xerxes. Or no, not the Mysterium Xerxes. What are the Mythic Dawn commentaries? Okay. Dreaming Sleeve has its own lore. It's an obscure and rarely mentioned concept. Well, great. Um. Yeah, this article is a stub, essentially. Uh, some un influential, unofficial fan discussions categorize the dream sleeve as a process related to the cycle of death and rebirth. Okay. In the mythic dawn. Yeah, that's a reference to the dawn era. Okay. Oh, wait. This is, this is a bad way to do this. Okay. So dream sleeve. Yeah. We learn so that is that it's its own thing. And then the mythic dawn and new dawn is a reference to the dawn era, so the actual era. The usurper is a guy named Camorun Usurper. I don't know about that, but I assume he'll be mentioned in this game more. Went under the Iliac. And yeah, that's Iliac Bay. Our Order. That's the Mythic Dawn. His Mighty Razor. Yeah, I'm, I'm literally just looking through the hyperlinks. Oh my god. Oh, never mind. Okay. Cracking the code. Okay, I'll read that later in case I'm really stuck. Desert of Rust and Wounds. Okay, yeah, Iliac Bay and the Usurper, that's the thing that I know about. Okay. Yeah, Desert of Rust and Wounds is... Oops. An area called Deadlands. The Deadlands is a Daedricrum of Oblivion ruled by Dagon. Okay, so it's called the Deadlands. Okay, yeah, I thought Cold Harbor was something else, and it is. Um, Paradise. Okay, that looks like spoilers, so I won't read it. Okay, so Tamriel, whose clergy long ago feigned the existence of Dawn. Where is that on here? Yeah, feigned the existence of Dawn. So that's a reference about Dragon Breaks. I've talked about Dragon Breaks, but they're basically where reality gives up, and they're like, things where, things where multiple things could happen, all of them happen at once, but less than they did if they all would have happened individually. Um... Okay, that's all the hyperlinks from this one. And this one. Who calls the Arcane. Okay, Arcane is just another way of saying RK, and RK is just the god of death. Like, god of rebirth and stuff like that. Um... And then the only other hyperlinks are explaining what a Dro is and what a Dibolite is. Yeah, Dibolite is just Dibella, and Dro are just those those weird squid lobster men in uh, uh, in Oblivion. Oh, and you also find them in uh, Elder Scrolls Online. That's cool. I actually didn't play that much of Elder Scrolls Online because it wasn't like it's not that good. 
Like, it's kind of a thing of like, yes, I understand that a lot of people probably enjoy the Elder Scrolls Online, but I really don't. And I would rather that they just put way more work into doing Elder Scrolls 6. Because by now we could have been up to Elder Scrolls 7 or 8 if they if they hadn't put any work into this. But I don't know. Okay. So oh, I can close this tab. Um, the tower. Yeah, the tower is the proper towers. How mortals become makers is hyperlinked on the wiki. This is how I learn about things, by the way. Um, I'll, I'll wiki walk. Um, mortals become, yeah, mortals become makers is a reference to the Sigic Endeavor. Is that like the Sigic Order process? Because, oh, it's just a, a, a way of describing becoming these. Yeah, it's just a, it's a, the goal of the endeavor is to experience Chim, and they're closely related. Despite the common namesake, it's unrelated to the Sigic Order, which doesn't care for the idea. That's funny. Um, that's annoying that they would, because like, Sigic Endeavor is just a, it's just confusing. Like, why would you call it that when Chim already exists? And the Sigic Order is completely different. That's annoying. Bones of the Wheel. The eight divines are the bones of the wheel. Okay. Yeah, I remember that they, they call them the wheel sometimes. So bones of the wheel is just another way of saying eight divines. Dragon's blood. Yeah, dragon's blood is just the emperors. Uh, Ethereal labyrinth is the Ethereus. That's just our play in reality. Arena, that's just Tamriel. I mentioned that. Okay, so I was right about that. Which they deny is oathbound. Why? The planes of oblivion are called oathbound. Why is that? Is that right? This is a lot closer to what I wanted. This strange blend of science and, and obscure mythology and confusing mythology as well. This is a lot more closer to what I wanted out of this game. Because up till now, it's been kind of generic. Okay. Zarzi's Mysterium. And then it has a, a, a sick, which means that it was misspelled. That's funny. What is Magna Gay? Magna Gay is Children of Magnus. And they are divine beings that fled to Nern. Oh, they're like small gods. And Mankar Kemoran claims that they created that they created Merun's Dagon. Okay. And and that's who Namoli is. Um, this is something I didn't pick up and I should have. When the earth trembles with the eruption of the newly mantled, uh, the Red Mountain has been erupting. And it's all about mantling either Dagoth Ur mantling his own new god or the Nerevarian mantling Nerevar. Um, I didn't put that together, although I did pick up on the term mantling. But when the earth trembles, yeah, I guess this is a thing that had to happen after Dagothar did his 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 stuff. I'm not exactly sure why, but first tower dictate. The first tower is the Dureni Tower. What? Oh, it's the Adamantine Tower. That makes sense. Okay, yeah. So it's tower in as in the towers. That makes sense. Render the mutant bound where he may do no more harm. Um, the mutant is Lorcan, I guess, because he's like a, an Adra who is like different from the other Adras, so he's a mutant. Uh, split them from the divine sparks. Lorcan was cut away from the heart of Lorcan. That makes sense as well. Yeah, split from their divine sparks, uh, and then we are eight times eight exarchs. Padme is just one of the like primordial gods. Yeah, Padme is also Sithis. And he's the opposite of everything. Um, Chim. We know Chim. When is the home of the Red King? Once strangled. Yeah, so Red King is just the guy in charge of the Red Legions. Okay. Um, and then Dagonite Road is just uh, Mythic Dawn. Yeah, usually I kind of figure like if something is hyperlinked, that means that there at the very least is something more to it because there's a thing that you can click on. Um... What is the Mundex Terrine? It's a silly way to say Mundus. 
Yeah, Mundus is just the 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 place where the planet is. Magna Gay, we read about them. Marin's Razor is hyperlinked, but that's we know that. The upstart who vanishes is Lorcan. Who is Lig? Oh, Lig was a place. Okay, so Lig is just a place where people existed. Okay. Uh, and then Prince of Good is just a Daedric Prince. And the fact that Hope is a precious resource, well, that's because Oblivion is kind of shitty. Um, the Serpent Crown of the Cyrodiils. That's just a reference to the Emperor's. Um, and then Days as it was changed in those. So Days as in those is just the Dawn Era. That's hyperlinked. Um, time of Gates. Okay, this is hyperlinked. And it just redirects to Oblivion Crisis. Because... Yeah, I should have put that together myself as well. The gates are the oblivion crisis. They're the problem. That's its own thing. Okay. Um, I feel like I've learned a lot. You may notice that I, I have sunk down in my chair. Pardon me. Um, whew. Yow. <laughs> a lot of lore. A lot of big, deep lores. Um... Yeah, I'll upload this as well. I won't edit this. This is... Look. I feel like some part of the fun of a blind playthrough is seeing how somebody experiences something in their own true way. And some people might disagree. Like, you look at, like, a Wooly Versus, and it's like, okay, I can see a really cool big boss in there. I can see it. But I'm going to go scrape all these walls and find all these little things... Just to make sure I didn't miss anything before going there. I will do the boss last. Maybe in hours from now. Um, but you know what? I like that. I respect that, that that's the way that that game is played by that guy. By Wooly. Um, and I am happy to watch him do it in his own way. And that's truly what the core of LPing is. You know, to do things in your own way. Um, and this is how I would this is how I would do this on my own. So um, yeah, I I think I'm probably going to use console commands to change my my birth sign just because I'm starting to really not dig the the Achenok. It's not as cool as I as it was in Morrowind and as I would have hoped it would be in this game. So you know I'll change that. But I have an alpha. This has been uh, Oblivion like eight point seven, like eight point nine or something like that. I'll see you guys next time. I hope you had a good time. Uh, I'll see you later. Bye.